Throughout this historic day marking the 68th anniversary of Korea's liberation from Japan's occupation, diverse cultural events and festivals were held across the nation. Right, our cultural correspondent Park Ji Won reports from the bustling scene. On the 68th anniversary of the nation's Liberation Day from 35 years of Japanese colonial rule, an official ceremony was held in Seoul. Hundreds of citizens, politicians and President Park Geun-hye were in attendance. One hour after the official ceremony ended at 11 a.m., the bell at Boshingak Pavilion in central Seoul was rung by Seoul Mayor Park won soon Korean independence fighters who stood up against Japanese colonial rule, and former Major League Baseball pitcher Park Chan-ho. This ceremony has been an annual tradition on this national holiday since the first anniversary of the day Korea was liberated from the Japanese colonial rule in 1945. Outside of Boshingak Pavilion, dozens of dancers, volunteers and students filmed the music video portraying four major Korean independence fighters such as An jung and Yu Guan soon Organizers say they prepared this event so that others could appreciate the true meaning of the national holiday and enjoy it along the way. The video will be uploaded to YouTube and Naver with the hope that it goes viral. With this video, I wanted to promote Korea's history to the world to commemorate this Liberation Day. Many Seoul residents took to the streets to enjoy the day's festivities together. I decided to spend time outside rather than staying at home to honor the true meaning of the day. For the past 14 years, I've tried to participate in diverse national ceremonies with my family for my children's education. Overseas Korean communities in six cities in four countries, including the U.S., Mexico and Russia, will also celebrate this day. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.